Hey, my name is Kate, and here's my story. So high and handsome You forgot me again Your reservoir of tears Boulders rushing in Your shadow I tie a rope to my raft in the flood. The water rises. There's nothing left to say. So.
Hello, I'm Tave Fashe Drake, and this is my story. Walking down the road, I don't have any cares. I see a toothy smile and your wavy gray hair. It's an absolutely, positively, perhaps maybe friendship to be. I give a gallant nod and a tip of my hat. You give a flitter wave and you giggle right back. It's looking like we might get a piece of pie and share a coffee. Oh, I'm wild about you. Just wild about you. I'm hoping that you are wild about me. Dance halls are mighty hard to come by, and the little rascals long ago grew up. And surely temple songs run through my memory, as sweet as maraschinos on the top of the drink. Don't you think it's about time we dine because? Cause I'm wild about you That's a delight beside you And now I know You are wild about me How about on Tuesday next we get ourselves hitched We hop up in the pickup truck and drive off in it Across the state line to have a good time in some gruel Take a spin around the block, then head out of town. We'll head on back the whole way home, the windows roll down. The wind outside's music to my mind and my soul. Oh, I'm wild about you. Can't get my mind up of you. I'm hoping that you are wild about me. We might want to South Florida, spend our summers by the Jersey Shore, or just stay home and play cards in the sunshine. That's forever here inside our hearts. Doesn't matter, friendly patter, so long as we're together because I'm wild about you. Life's a delight beside you. I'm hoping that you are wild about me.
Here's my holiday message. Welcome to Portland's best party of the year. Not my words. Um, my name's Jeff Rosenberg. I produced this event with loads of help from many other people, including my co-producer, Adam East, who books this lovely venue, the Alberta Rose. And uh, we're always appreciative of Joe Cawley, the owner of this lovely venue. And uh, all of our uh, band leaders, musical directors, and uh, just everyone involved in this thing that's gone on for 12 years now, and um, loads of sold out performances. So thanks so much for being a part of it. How many people, this is your first time at the next waltz? All right, great. How many people is, this is their fifth or more time at the next waltz? All right, they just keep coming back. Um, so yeah, I host a show called The Song Circle on KBOO Community Radio on Friday afternoons. And the only reason I'm on, involved with KBOO, and frankly the reason I'm in Portland, is my dear friend and sister from another Mr. Robin Shanti, who's with us tonight, <laughs> who I had the privilege of co-hosting her show The Dharma Wheel with for several years. And so this tonight's performance is dedicated very much to her. Um, so we got a couple of quick program substitutions. Uh, Alan Hunter, our good friend, is uh, substituting for Aaron Tomasco on the bass in the string ensemble. And uh, Brian Cutian is here to uh, substitute for Andrea Vidal, and we send her her get well from COVID wishes from all of us. Uh, and I mentioned, if you got a chance to read the note I wrote in the program, uh, that we lost Robbie Robertson a couple of years ago. I mean, a couple months months ago. And uh, of course, we'd all be somewhere else tonight if not for his great songs and brilliant musicianship, and along with his colleagues. So, let's let's keep him in our thoughts as we go on tonight. And. Um, the original, oh yeah, so I also want to ask, uh, is there anyone here who hasn't seen the film of The Last Waltz? Do you, it's okay to admit it, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you, you have some homework after the show. Um, they started the original concert off back in 1976 in San Francisco. Uh, actually, no, they didn't start it off. It was at the intermission. They brought a bunch of San Francisco beat poets up to read their work as part of this celebration of the great artistic tradition. And uh, we start off our show with a few of those readings. And the first year we did this in 2011, we were privileged to have the great Walt Curtis uh, read Ferlinghetti for us. And he unfortunately passed away in the last couple of months as well. So we're thinking of Lawrence, I mean, of, uh, and, and Lawrence, who we lost a year ago. Um, but we're thinking of Walt, and we're lucky to have another great literary figure from Portland who actually helped organize the memorial for Walt. Leanne Grable is gonna read for us starting off tonight. You, you may mo know her as the longtime proprietor of Cafe Lena, which is a valuable piece of Portland's cultural tradition. Uh, so she's gonna read some poems, but before that, uh, our friend Becky Doggett's gonna come up and read the prologue to the Canterbury Tales, which Michael McClure performs in the film. So let's kick off the night and have a good one. Welcome Becky Doggett, please. Wamut Apro, with his shore is sota, the draught of March had pierced to the rota, and bathed every vine in switch liqueur, of which virtu engendered is the floor. One Zafros, with his sweet a breath, in spirit hath in every holt and heath a tender cropes, and the youngest son hath in the ram his alpha corserona. And small a fool is, mocking melodia, that sleep in all the niched with open ear, so pricking him natur in her courages. Than longen folk to gone on pilgrimages, and palmers for to sake in strange strondes, to ferne hallways, couth and sondre londes, and especially from every sheer azenda of Engeland to Canterbury, thy wenda the holy, blissful martyr for Tuseka, that him hath holpen 
Wanna Tai Wraseka. Hello, my name is Leanne Gray. Well, I'm very happy to be here. I'm trying to channel Walt Curtis, Diane De Prima, and Lenore Kandel. In the original movie in 1976, in the original concert, Lenore Kandel walked over and said, I wrote this today. And so I want to read that poem. It's called Joy. I'll be a bridge. I'll be a tightrope, come dance with me across my sparkling nerves. This bridge begins right now. There is no gate. Your foot is right in the middle of the flame. You better dance or burn. The clowns are jostling in the wings. The lion tamer shed his skin. Your secrets are the book I'm reading. This here parades on. There's honey in the sky. I want to roll in sugar until the comets chime. I'll be a bridge. Come dance with me. I'll dance with you. I'm really happy to be supporting Jeremy and the foundation. I don't think I saw Jeremy, um, the last time I saw him was probably 30 years ago at Cafe Lena. So it's really great to be in part of this. Diane De Prima, two poems. The first one, she said, I would like to do a one line poem called Get Your Cut Throat Off My Knife. <laughs> Get Your Cut Throat off my knife. <laughs> and from her book, Revolutionary Letters, Revolutionary Letter Number 4 by Diane De Prima. Left to themselves, people grow their hair. Left to themselves, they take off their shoes. Left to themselves, they make love, sleep easily, share blankets and dope and children. They are not lazy or afraid. They plant seeds. They smile. They speak to one another. Their words come into their own. Their touches of love on the brain, the ear. We return to the seas. We return as often as leaves, gentle, insistent. We remember the way our babes toddle barefoot through the eddies and cities of the universe. Thank you. All right, and uh, here's the poem that we had uh, Walt read that first year, uh, Thanksgiving Prayer of sorts from Lawrence Ferlinghetti. Our Father, whose arts in heaven, hollow be thy name. Thy wigdom come in God. Oh, let me start again, if you will. Our Father, whose arts in heaven, hollow be thy name. Unless things change, thy wigdom come in gone. Thy will will be undone on earth as it isn't heaven. Give us this day our daily dread at least three times a day, and forgive us our trespasses on love's territory, for thine is the wigdom and power and glory. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's have a great night. Will you welcome the next Waltz Strings?
Good to see you. Suddenly, I'm short. <laughs> Yo, welcome Chris Stewart to the stage. Hey, that's me. Happy Saturday, everybody.
I'm not wearing a onesie though. This is a mini skirt. <laughs> I'm bringing the sparkle. Second song in. It's already here. <laughs> Bring in the show.
cards. February twenty third, and they have her phone number on them. Yeah, text me. All the postcards have my number on it. All right. They're right here. They're out on the back too. We got John Averill coming at next, y'all. Make some noise. How y'all doing? Woo! Yeah, bud. I'm on vacation. Woo! 
Always on vacation. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't suck. <laughs> So if y'all feeling the music, feel free to stand up and dance. There's a group of people dancing over here last night. It was fantastic. So if you're feeling it, do what you gotta do. Yeah, bud. I walk 47 miles of barbed wire. I got a cobra snake for a necktie. I got a brand new house on the roadside. Made from rattlesnake hide. I got a brand new chimney up on top. Made from a human skull. Come on, take a little walk with me, Marky. Tell me, who do you love? James Lowe coming up. Hi, James. Welcome back. Good evening, everybody.
herding cattle they rattle James Lowe, so much. Mary Sue Tobin. Yeah. All right, we, we, got, we got Rich Ray coming up next for this team. Yeah. Rich Ray. Woohoo. What's up? In the heart of a lonely kid Suffered so much for what he did Gave this plowboy his fortune and fame Since that day he ain't been the same See the man with the stage fright Stand up there to give it all his might He got caught in the spotlight When he gets to the end Wants to start all over again I've got fire water on my breath The doctor warned me this could catch my death You could make it in your disguise Never seeing the fear that's in your eyes To the man with the stage right Stand up there to give it all his might Gets 
Next will be my dear friend Brian QTN. Anybody here a, a country fair goer? Yeah, <laughs> me too. So you might know Brian from fair. Welcome back, Brian. It's been like 10 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Will for being the guitar tech tonight. Thank you, Will. serves you well we're going to meet again and wait so I'm going to unpack all my things and sit before it gets too late no man of love will come to you with another tale to tell and you know that we shall meet again if your memory serves you well wheels on fire
if your memory serves you well you will remember you're the one that called on them to call on me to get you your favors done and after every plan had failed there was nothing more to tell but you know Thanks, y'all. We got Christopher Worth on this next tune. Yeah. 
time for Steve. Steve Karen. My Yay. thankfulness to the band and all the fellas. One, two, three, four, one. Such a night. Such a night. Sweet confusion. Under the moonlight. Such a night. Such a night. We got to steal away. The time be right. Baby, I couldn't believe my eyes. Well, my heart just skipped a little beat. When you told me we'd slip away down the dark end of the street. Came in with my best friend Jim. And here I am, just trying to steal you away from him. Oh, baby. Somebody else will If I don't do it Somebody else will If I don't do it You know somebody else will If I don't do it You know somebody else will It was such a night Such a night Sweet confusion under the moonlight Such a night Such a night You got to steal away The time seemed right Baby, your eyes caught mine At a glance No, this was my chance. Oh, yeah, you came in with my best friend Jim. And here I am, just trying to steal you away from him. Oh, baby, if I don't do it, somebody else will. If I don't do it, somebody else will. Rubio. <laughs> he's here and he's ready to rob your train. Hey, hey everybody. Can, can we get your autograph? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring my pen. Are you ready to go down south to New Orleans? Are you ready to go down yeah. south to New Orleans? Yeah. That's better. All right. Feel free to help me sing this one. Yeah. 
to lose, on to lose street. I wanna kiss all the Creole girls I see. Drink all day, dance all night. Do it wrong till I do it right. All right, we got Mason Sharp and Susan Harris on this next tune. This is a treat. You might, uh, you might recognize Mason from back at the bar. He probably poured you a beer. You can love this. Let me tune really quick. Give me one second. And we got Dave Lipkin too.
Thanks, you guys. Oh, and we've got Colin Hogan up next. Hello. Colin Hogan, everybody. And this is Lefty Head on the Colin fiddle. Hogan. Yes. Hello. got a treat for y'all tonight. Neil Diamond. Adam East, y'all.
Dry your eyes Take your song out It's a newborn afternoon And if you can't recall the singer Can you still recall the tune? Dry your eyes Play it slowly just like you're marching off to war Sing it like you always wanted Like you sung it once before And from the center of the circle To the midst of the way Crowd. If it ever is forgotten, sing it long and sing it loud and come dry your eyes. And he taught us more about That's me. Ah, your checks in the mail, Mom.
from you we have a friend in from Los Angeles oh. yeah I just wanted to welcome this is Jeff he's uh, gonna introduce pretty, next. pretty good so far huh yeah. text your pet sitters because there's a lot more music to come uh, here's my dearest uh, friend from who's come up to sing for you from Los Angeles tonight we used to listen to all this music on the floor of our dorm room hanging out and doing God knows what else. Uh, 
I don't mean to cast any expression. <laughs> anyway, uh, for a long time, that beautiful song was the only Joni song we've had in the set. But this year, Joni's having this amazing renaissance. She just turned 80, and we all love her so much. So we've added one more song by Joni to the repertoire. And here's Kim Fox to do it for you. Please make her welcome. Thank you so much for having me. And um, yes, Jeff and I were buddies in college and we're huge Joni Mitchell fans. And I have to say that learning this song has been amazing. It is a beautiful song. Adam, AKA Neil Diamond, also agrees. So enjoy. Old Beale Street is coming down. Sweetie snack bars boarded up now, and Eggles the tailor, and the shine boy's gone, faded out with the ragtime blues. And he's cast in bronze, and he's standing in a little park with his puppet in his hand, like he's listening back. To the good old bands and the click of high heel shoes. Old furry sings the blues. Propped up in his bed with his dentures and his leg removed. And Ginny's there. you played, but I get such strong impressions of your heyday, looking up and down Old Beale Street, the ghost of the dark town society. 
giggity come right out of the bricks at me like it's a Saturday night and they're in their finery dancing it up and making deals oh the fairy sings the blues why should I to me true fall into hard luck and time and other thieves while a limo is shining on a shanty street oh the furry sings the Me again. Yeah. That guy. Uh, this is one of Robbie Robertson's greatest achievements, I think, as a songwriter, this one. It's a long uh, narrative song, not too long, but uh, about uh, a historical incident involving refugees, immigrants, about their difficult journey, about their longing for home. And uh, somebody who can attest to the accuracy of the story is our keyboardist Steve Karen, who's going to say a few words about the song. Yeah. Steve. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. So yeah, my, my wife and I are actually Cajuns, and that's, uh, Cadian is where the word Cajun comes from. I'm sure most, probably most of you know that already. But this song is about, um, it's set in like the 1750s, you know, it's talking about this war that France and England had in um, Acadie, which is around Nova Scotia. And um, England won the war, and um, they told the French people that they had to either enlist, they, they had to enlist in the army. And they refused because they would have had to like fight against their brothers. This is when France and England are trying to buy for territory in North America. But they refused, and the troops rounded them all up in a church and put them on ships. They separated families. Um, the beginning of the song is really, you know, talking about, you know, the war was over and the spirit was broken. Um, you know, they're talking about looking from the cliffs uh, to watch the ships where they're signing the treaties that, that are going to send all, break up, break up all these families and send people off. You know, my particular family, uh, we had two different captains, one who would go this way. They went down the Atlantic coast. And one captain would go this way, the other one would go the, the other way. And eventually they had a mutiny and they, the ship ran aground in, around Texas and the, the people helped to get the people to Louisiana because it was, it was recently French, right? Talking about like around 1750. Um, but these Cajun people are resilient people. They cook really good, they party really good. <laughs> they were resilient. And one thing that I'd also like to point out is we do Evangeline at the end of the set. Evangeline is actually a, a Longfellow poem about a couple of uh, Acadian refugees. Evangeline was uh, waited on the banks of a riverbed for her husband who never came back. They changed the story, made it a little bit more fun in this one, but anyway. So for now, uh, thanks Steve. Um, yeah. We're gonna do this one for you, and joining me on it is my good friend Christian Groth from the band The Barkers. Okay, making his next waltz debut this year. Glad to have you. And we have Lefty on fiddle, Jenny Conley Dresus on accordion.
and the spirit was broken. The hills were smoking as the men withdrew. We stood on the cliffs mm, and we watched the ships slowly sink into their rendezvous.
Now, too, we're really excited about it. Is this your first time singing on this show? No, it's not. You did it last time. That's right, that's it. Still, it's awesome. All right, Lefty and I are gonna do some twin fiddling for y'all. Can we get some fiddle in these front wedges, please? Y'all ready to rag, Mama? Here it is. in my bag.
some friends in from, from California. Um, here's my, my friend from back in the late 1800s, uh, Wendy Sue, uh, uh, it, my old friend from Cali. She's, uh, we used to play together in another lifetime. And I love this woman. I'm so happy you're here. Thanks for saying yes. So happy to be here with this wonderful Portland community. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I'm with you unbelievable. on that. Unbelievable. And Kim is going to accompany her. Thanks, Kim.
That's Wendy Sue and Kim Fox. Steve Karen on the keys, Mark Bowden on guitar. We have Galen Clark on the organ tonight. Jenny Lee Conrad, Jenny Conley Drizos on the accordion, Lefty on the, on the fiddle. <laughs> no, there's so many of us, I don't even have enough breath. <laughs> Ned Failing on the drums, Greg Hyatt on the bass, Heidi Schuler on percussion, the, the whole Portland horn section. Thank you so much. This is Jeremy Wilson. Yeah. So before we have a, a wonderful intermission break, I just wanted to say thank you for coming out tonight. My name is Jeremy Wilson. I'm the founder of the Jeremy Wilson Foundation Musician Health and Services Program. The last 13 years, the musicians on this stage, and Jeff Rosenberg, and Adam East, and Chris, and Mark, and all the people that you see in this room have helped take this organization from a $350 deposit in a bank account by a bunch of grassroots musicians, and it's turned it into over $1.5 million in services and grants that you, the fans, the friends, and the family of the musicians have helped to, uh, to do. And you might ask, why is a service like ours necessary? Well, artists are independent contractors, and they are people that dedicate their lives to their art and to being a positive force in a community. And would you give everybody on this stage a round of applause and yourself. You know, at events like the Blues Festival that we're part of, people come up to me all the time and go, so how did that guy Jeremy Wilson die? Oh. You know, like, it's the Jeremy Wilson Foundation. And I said, well, actually, because of this community, I did not die after four heart surgeries, everybody. And so anyway, musicians work so hard. I've been working as a professional musician since I was 14 years old. I had a band here in town called the Dharma Bums. <laughs> and uh, you know, when I was 40 years old, 15 years ago, and I fell into the hospital, I just had no idea what I was gonna do. And it was this community and these musicians and the people on this stage that came to help me out. And what we've, what we've been able to do since then is we've helped out hundreds of musicians. Once we, just, we realized that, that, wait a minute, musicians are the very first people that everybody calls on when there is a catastrophe, right? When, when, when we need to raise money for something, you call on the musicians, you ask them to play for free, you do all this stuff. And we're like, well, wait a minute, why can't we have an organization that is musicians helping musicians and that friends and fans and family can all be part of the community? And that's what's so special about Portland. And I don't care how hard things have been the last three years because this is this community and it's gonna rebound and it's gonna rebound because of events like this, right, and, the, and stuff. So. There's so many thank yous to go around. I know everybody wants to stretch their legs and stuff, but you know, we have something really special happening tonight. There is a fan in this audience tonight that is matching $3,500 tonight, if we can raise. And yeah, so if, if you choose to get online and do $10 a month or something like that, it's gonna be 20 bucks a month. And tonight, all the cash that goes in the buckets is gonna be is going to be uh, matched and stuff. I and mean, we were so grateful. And, and that person wants to be humble and anonymous. And we thank you, that person who is humble <laughs> and anonymous. And we love you. But while donations are really important to us, if you do anything tonight, I hope you'll turn to this center page or meet one of our volunteers over here. Jane over here, who we got over here, we got our team over here, and we just really want you to sign up for our newsletter. And I have a really cool thing that we like to say, and it's true. We will only bug you with the good stuff, okay? Seriously. And anyway, you can do the QR code, or you can do it old school and write it down for us tonight. And for instance, we're gonna, we have a blog, and for instance, one of our great sponsors tonight is Aardvark Secret Aardvark Sauce, everybody. They've been with us for, from the beginning, and in December there's going to be a blog story about how music and Aardvark are connected and why they've been 
for helping us all these years. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, and I want to thank you for being here. Have a wonderful intermission. You will not believe that second set that's coming up. And I know there are people I'm forgetting, but Joe Cowley and uh, uh, Secret Art Bark, Janet Julian, our, our artist in residence. Where is she? Where is she? All right, well, Janet will give, for every $20 that's given in the, to the bucket and stuff, she's got a, a print for you, or you can uh, um, also see her beautiful piece of artwork, which is being auctioned off tonight. Anyway, thank you, everybody. There she is. All right. <laughs> Peace, everybody. Have a great intermission. Sign that newsletter. story.
Tell me, tell me where it's broken Tell me where it hurts you Your silence leaves me so confused you know, Everything happened really rapidly So, you know, I had a spot on the back of my neck that was really painful and it was about the size of a head of a pin Desmoplastic melanoma is a particularly virulent, fast-moving, kind of deadly form of skin cancer. You know, I think everybody at some point, if they can conceptualize what it's like to sit across from someone who knows, who's saying, yeah, you, you, you might have six months to live, you should get your affairs in order. There's, I don't think, anything that can prepare you for, for that kind of experience. It's, it's a very isolating event. You, do, you can't help but feel alone. There is no safety net for musicians. The Jeremy Wilson Foundation here in Portland um, addresses that issue. You know, when you're in the middle of that kind of a storm, you can't really think about buying groceries or paying your bills. And to have someone who has, who has an outside perspective, you know, an organization that allows you to focus on the important stuff, like getting your true affairs in order, you know, it's just kind of like... You're busy trying to make peace. I mean, the importance of music, well, it, it, I think, is the most accessible form of art. It provides a feeling of commonality and a feeling of familiarity. I have been able to make a living as a, as a working musician now for most of my adult life here in Portland. I, I feel a personal debt of gratitude for that. Um, to the community here and anytime the community comes and you know, supports a musician I think that you know it just reaffirms that relationship and it, and it feels especially good and it's, it's an important uh, it's an important thing to us well, sometimes you have to wait so patiently well sometimes you have to wait so patiently
Kate O'Brien. Yay! Yeah. yeah, thanks for getting us back in on this. Jenny, would you just? Jenny Conley Jesus, man oh man. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the lady parts. Jenny Thomas, Nikki Vargas, and Kimberly June. How's it going, everybody? Hello. We're just going to get situated for a second. Do you need to see their fabulousness? <laughs> I know! Yeah. Everybody ready? Oh 
so is Mr. Alan Caribio. And so is Ned. We have a bunch of being tidy. And we are playing here on New Year's Eve. It's going to be a late night party. There, I have handbills. There's handbills out back. But we're playing with Saloon Ensemble. Woohoo! Um, and that's December 31st, in case you don't know when to use it. <laughs> we have Tate Peterson, John Becker, up for you. Don't Hello. mind us. Tate Peterson right here. John Becker. We're in a band called the Res Electrics. <laughs> it's our pleasure to be here. We got David Lipkin right here on the harp. <clears throat> All right. Whenever you're ready, Ned.
Chris Electric. Thank you. All right, we got Sean Batters to come up, back up here to do a couple of blues songs for y'all. Yeah, bud. With the shirt. Yeah, bud. <laughs> really? Really? All right. <laughs> It doesn't happen often. It's, it's, That's it's, all I'm saying. Here we go. It's, Can I get a little bit more of the vocal on the monitor, please? Thank you. Ooh. ooh. Oh, it's yeah. been months since I've played a gig with Sean with a shirt on. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. That's right. Yeah, yeah, this is everyone paid, everyone paid good money. Everyone paid good money, so I'm not, I'm not trying to ruin in the night or nothing like that. But yeah, we'll see, though. We'll yeah, see how this song extra. goes. Yeah, that costs extra. That costs extra. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, put an extra couple of dollars in the uh, donate the Jeremy Wilson Fund donation, and we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, right? That's right. We have matching funds. That's right. There we go. One button for every hundred that goes.
Yeah. yeah. Woo. You should stay up and sing another one. All right. What do you think? All right. I'm not done with Sean yet. Yeah. Well. All right. How we all doing out there? Yeah? All right. Shit. Shit. Well. Well, yeah. Everything gonna be all right this morning. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Oh. Yeah. That's real nice, real nice. David Lipkin on here, everybody. David Lipkin. was a young boy about the age of five you know my mama she gonna tell me you're gonna be the greatest man alive but now that I'm a man way past 21 you know my baby I'm a whole lot of fun. Oh, now ain't that a man? Yeah. I spell M A child. And that represent man. Represent manish boy. I'm a man. Yeah. I'm a full grown man, baby. I'm a man. Oh. I'm a natural born loving man. I'm a man. Yeah. I'm a rolling stone. Man. Now sitting on the outside, just me and my mama, 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 mate. I'll make the moon arise, honey. About two hours late. There ain't that a man? represent I'm grown Natural-born loving man. I'm a man. I'm a rolling stone. I'm a man. I'm a hoochie hoochie man. Now sitting on the outside. Oh, I did. Now you're just standing in line. I'll make love to your woman in about two minutes' time. Now I think I'll go on down, oh, to Kansas Street. Bring back my second, second, second cousin, little Johnny Cock-a-Cock-a-Cock-a-Roo. Yeah. 
And I'm mad. to wear no clothes. I like that. Yeah. Dad, bod, and all. Y'all give it up one more time for Sean Batters. This is right. Rhonda Steele, y'all. Yeah. Make some noise. Rhonda. She has yeah. a mural right on the side of this building. All right. So honored to be here tonight. We going further on up the road, ain't we? They're on up the road, baby. Someone's gonna hurt you like you're hurting me. When they're on up the road, baby, just you wait and see. You're gonna reap just what you sow. That old saying is true. You're gonna reap just what you sow. That old saying is true. When you've done somebody wrong, baby, they're gonna mistreat you like you mistreated them, yeah. 
was gonna hurt you like you hurt me further on up the road wait and see bring it down y'all you've been laughing pretty baby soon you're gonna be crying you've been laughing pretty baby soon you're gonna be crying <laughs> further on up the road you'll find out I ain't lying shower. Uh, Jeff Rosenberg, somewhere out there. There he goes. It ain't over yet. It's too late. Way. I can hear the merry gypsy play. Mama, mama, look at Amaro. She's out playing with her radio. So 
you know it's got so Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Schwarderman, Big E. Right, all right. Howdy, everybody. Hi, hi. All right, here we go. Check, check. And 
all the people were saying if they will na 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 back with my wife in Tennessee when one day she called to me Virgil come quick come and see there goes a Robert E. Lee Now I don't mind chopping wood And I don't care if the mud ain't no good You take what you need and you leave the rest But they should never have taken the very best The Like my father before me, I will work the land. Like my brother above me, he took a rebel stand. He was just 18, proud and brave, but when the Yankee laid him in his grave, and I swear by the blood below my feet, you can't What a band we got. Eric Schweiderman, Biggie. All right, we're going to bring up the LaRonda Steel Trio right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. You go. What an amazing show this year, right? Yeah. Oh man, so many talented folks on one stage with a fabulous sound person. Y'all need to give it up for the sound person. I'm just saying, yes. Especially to handle Steve over there. Steve Karen, he just, you know. I'm, I'm a handful. He is a handful and more, all right. <laughs> Once again, we are so proud to be here representing the Staple Singers doing The Wait. Marietta Collier, Aria Toward, La Ronda Steele. I get that rolled R. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> 
Nazareth, I was feeling about half past dead. Just needed some place to go where I could lay my head. Mister, can you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand. No, was all he said. Yeah, come on now. Take a load off, Fanny. Take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny And you put the load right on me Pick up my bag And I'm looking for a place to hide When I saw old Carmen in a devil walk inside There ain't nothing that you can say, no. It's just old Luke, and Luke's been waiting on the judgment day. Well, Luke, my friend, what a fuck young one got to leave. What about him, uh-huh? Said to me, baby, son, won't you feel the keep her company? Take a load on Fanny. Take a load on Fanny. Take a load on Fanny. Take a load off Fanny And you put the load right on And next, 
We have for you Ashley Flynn and the Riveters are going to be our first all-girl band doing the Dylan set. You're going to be thrilled. gonna go get a drink. Presto Changeo. Happy Thanksgiving! We are very grateful to be here. Among so much talent and with all of you.
to anything I might have tried Whether too long, done something wrong Would you tell me what it is I run and hide
from Crystal Lane, of course. We're the Riveters. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you, guys. And we have to thank you all, because this would never happen. We'd be really lonely. Crickets would be chirping, and we'd be spazzing out on our own. So thank you all so much. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. We owe it to you. It's 26 shows. 27. This is like as many as like the White Album Christmas is going to do this year. I know, I'm fucking funny. No cover chop. So everybody, we, we really want you to join us on all these choruses tonight. And uh, thank you again for being here. The, uh, the musicians in Portland and Oregon and Clark County, Washington, really love you and appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. Chet, would you kill that board? Thank you. They say everything can be replaced. They say every distance is not near. So I remember every face. Every man who put me here Everybody I see my light come shining From the west down to the east Any day now Any day now I Yeah. Now every 
up on your feet for this last one. Then we'll let you leave. Let's have a shout out to Chet Leister on sound tonight. Aaron Berryman on lights. Jeff Hagerty on follow spot. Will McKinney on stage management. Thank you, Will, you're the best. We got Damien and Eddie on stage crew. Thank you all to the technical crew. Let's hear it big time for all of them. All right. And the most of all, coming. wait one more time, sorry. Most of all, this place wouldn't even be here if it weren't for the owner of the Alberta Rose Theater, Joe Colley, and our fabulous new sound system that Joe put in here. You're hearing it tonight, and we love it. And we love you, Joe, thank you. Thank you, Joe. Maddie Both, Colin Hogan, here to help you on your way. Thank you all so much, so much.
everybody. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Colin Hogan, everybody. Let's hear it for the Portland Horns. Christy Lane. The Portland Horns. Paul Maynard and the Portland Horns. Y'all are amazing. We love you. Thank you so much. Good night. I know it's hard. It's hard for us to. <laughs> we'll be at Binks. Many thanks. Thanks again, Chet, Will, Adam, Joe, and all y'all. Have a lovely evening. See you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel.